So combine lesson one to lesson six. What do you get? What I want you to be able to do after lesson one, oral part, is that you can put that into a dialect. Then you can play that dialect with your table partner, someone you know in the class, someone you know at home, and make that become your language not language that you learn about. What do I mean? It's your language when you actually can say it. It's, it's a language that you learn. It's, 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 it means you can find it, find it from your notebook. You can find it in your computer, but you cannot say it. So in order to say it, you need multiple time to practice. Understand is step one. 99% of people can do that unless you, you you miss the class or you need more time to study. 99.5%, 99% people can do that. But in order be, to, to produce, you need to go step two, step three, step four, step five, step six, all the way up. Some people can do it seven times, eight times, practice seven, eight times, and then they can produce. Some people need to do it maybe 30, 40, 50 times. That sounds pretty scary when you think about it. You have to do it 50 times. However, it depends on how much uh, background knowledge that you have. If you been practice similar language, before, then it will be easier for you. Maybe you have to only do it a couple times or four, five, seven times, and you can do it. If you uh, are from a language background or a culture background, it's far away from your learning language, then it will be hard. It will, it will take longer time. Typically, Chinese distance between language in English and Chinese is, if we have to measure it, it will be five. Actually, some people actually measure it. Uh, it was it was five. Um, it will be English to French, German, Spanish. This one work one. So uh, relatively, if you compare this, you can say learning Chinese might be five times as difficult as Chinese. Um, learning distance is five, uh, five times further away compared to learning Spanish, German, French, all of those alphabetic language that you can relate to English because European, right? However, ask you to run a hundred meter and ask you to run, run 500 meter doesn't make it five times as difficult as running. Like running 500 meters is not as five times difficult as 100 meters. Could be five times difficult if you just start it, right? If you if you never run before, if I ask you to do 500 meters, it would be hard. But if you know how to run a little bit, it will be five times more, more, five times of time, but maybe if I really have to make measure the difficulty, it will be maybe two times, maybe three times, but more you do it, uh, less difficult it is. So let's say you're very good at cross country. You've been running, you've been running 200 meters, you've been running uh, 1,000 meters. Running 100 meters, and running 500 meters doesn't make that much difference to you. So if you're used to running 1,000 meters, running 100 meters is like a piece of cake. Running, running 500 meters is five pieces of cake, so not much difference. So it depends. I would say if you never, never, ever learned Chinese before and you have, you're, you're not familiar with the culture language and you, you, your first language is English, it will be 
it will be um, it will be different or it will take a longer time for you to pick up once you pick up it will be more easier 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 in the future anyway but my 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 point is you need the time to to practice some people some people let's say if they have a parent who speak chinese they don't start from understanding they started from here they might take two minutes and get it already you need to take the seven step or seven time to remember or to practice so you don't have to you you, you can't compare your learning time with others because you guys are starting at a different level some people let's say um, they, their parent is also English speaker but they um, experience some of the culture before so they might not be starting from level 7 they might be starting from level 3 they will save them time too so if you look at your table partner and say wow this person only take 20 minutes and remember everything and I have to take 2 hours that's does that mean that person is smarter than you? No, that means that person spent that time before. They have some time, some time of experience before. So once you guys spend the same amount of time, you'll be able to reach the same goal. However, that's just background information. What do we, what do we want to be able to do? and say after the six lessons so let's put all of the Pashmian sentences back over here again A. Ni hao B. Ni hao A. Ni hao ma B. Wo heng hao Xie xie maybe Thank you. Last the question. A. 你叫什么名字? B. 我叫 A. 你姓什么? 您会姓? Let's use the respectful way. 您会姓 You say 我姓 Last name A 你多大 Since you guys are more younger So I use 你多大 You say 我 Number 岁 A ask 你是哪国人 He say, "我是 country 人." He ask, "你上哪个学校?" He answer, "我上." Dala dala, 高中. Very high school, is it very Gaozong? He asked, 你上几年级? He answered, 我上。Number,年级. He asked, 你家有 几口人? The answer 我家有 number 口人 I have no space but typically you also have to say 很高兴认识你, nice to meet you and 再见, goodbye On top of it you can also add 
your family turn to question over here and answer to over here. So for example, if you say 爸爸, 你爸爸叫什么名字? So instead of saying 你, you say 你爸爸, your father 叫什么名字? Instead of asking what's your name, you're asking what's your father's name. Answer that, you will do the same thing. You will just say, put Baba over here. So pretty much you do not change the question. You just add the turn of your family into the beginning of a sentence. Change the subject from you to your father. You can do that with your mom, ni mama. You can do that with your older brother, ni ge ge, younger, younger brother, ni didi, older sister, ni jie jie, younger sister, ni mei mei. So, add it to here, and so over here, add it here, and so over here, add it to here, and so over here, add it here, answer to over here, add it here, answer to over here. Oh, uh, last one, you, you can. This is asking how many people in your family. Uh, so it keep the same. So for lesson one to six, number one goal is you 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 are able to remember all of those vocabulary that allow you to 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 play with it. Number two goal is you will be able to give a conversation like this without your notes. We we see A B asking A asking question B answering the question. But at the same time, if you're a B person, you be you will be able to ask the question, and A will be able to answer the answer the question. So that conversation will be taking about one minute. If you go through one round, if you add in one family member, it will be two minutes. If you add one more family member, it will be three minutes. So by doing three people, you pretty much show me that you can uh, fluently using all of those questions and answer and able to use the memorized face to talk about greeting, name, age, nationality, school and grade, and family. That's goal number two. Again, goal number one, able to remember vocabulary that allow you to use. So expanding your vocabulary bank Goal number two, able to use the memorized face to give a conversation. Goal number three, you are able to use, reuse the, the sentence over here to give a presentation. So instead of putting a conversation way, you can use, um, you can use the statement over here to make a presentation. For example, if I want to give a presentation about myself, including all those topics over here, I can say. Hi, my name is John. My last name is Lin. I am 34 years old. I am Chinese. I go to Valley High School. Um, I I am in 12th grade. I have five people in my family. My dad, my mom. Oh, by the way, when you talk about number of people in your family, you want to list them. You want to list all of them. And the last one, you want to say he and the last person. Um, you you want. I will be able to say, uh, uh, I have five people in my family, one, two, three, four, and he, number three, uh, five. And then I can talk about my dad's name is this, my dad, is, my last name is, my dad is not years of uh, 65, let's say, years old, my dad is Chinese, uh, my dad don't go to school, my dad, uh, and then my mom name is this, and go, go on. So. Basically, you are using the statement. You using the statement of what B was answering to put into a paragraph to make it a presentation. So, if you can do a conversation, basically you can do a presentation. So, this is the goal number three. So lesson one to six, which is typically what level one will be covering in first semester in oral part, is goal number one, vocabulary, remember. Second, 
able to give the conversation freely, doesn't have to follow this order, you'll be able to listen and give a give 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 a correct answer. Number three, put everything together and give a presentation.